This is Ibrahim. Beside him, his only belongings, the crutches he relies on, a reminder of a child who has witnessed too much. In April of 2013, the farm where Ibrahim and his family were hiding in Syria was hit. His mother, four siblings, and five other relatives died in front of him. Only Ibrahim survived, but he would never be the same again. On my leg, I lost the bone. The bone? It just disappeared. My shoulder was dislocated. I also have an injury on my thigh. They put these metal bars to hold it in place. It holds the parts together. On my left leg on the knee, it's just bone. It's very difficult. I was also injured by shrapnel. Blood vessels and nerves were cut off. But thank God it's okay. During the attack, Ibrahim's father, Suleiman, had been away getting bread for breakfast. When he heard the explosion, he ran back to the farm. What he found there still haunts him. We witnessed some very ugly scenes. Several limbs, faces wounded beyond recognition. I couldn't tell my own child from others. It was that bad. A desperate search for his children followed. Eventually, a miracle. Suleiman was told that Ibrahim had survived and was in a hospital nearby. I couldn't reach him for five days. I didn't want to see anyone. I didn't eat or drink. I didn't sleep. Tears were pouring down. My whole family was lost. After the attack, Ibrahim and his father fled Syria into Jordan as refugees. Their journey lasted for months. Now they live in the world's second largest refugee camp, Zatari. The explosion took away 22 centimeters from Ibrahim's shin bone. The only way he can walk again is to have reconstructive surgery, transplanting bone from another part of his body into his damaged limb. It's a big operation, but Ibrahim is optimistic and brave. He says he will go back to school and become a bone surgeon so that he can help other children like him in Syria. Syria will always be my country. Wherever I go, I will always go back to it. Suleiman's dream, though, is for now more close to this temporary home. He just wants his son to be able to walk again. Ibrahim is what keeps him alive, he says. Though together they have lost so much, they are family. For the United Nations, this is Alexandra King.